Metrocount, the traffic data specialists. Hi, I'm Vern Bastian, General Manager of Metrocount. In this short training video, I'll be showing you how to connect to your Metrocount logger to operate it for traffic surveys, set up, run, unload the data. Simple process, straightforward, let's get into it now. But before we begin, you obviously must have the software installed and see below this, this video for a link on how to install the software, including the driver for the uh, comms lead, the communications cable. All right, well, I already have the software installed. This is, I'll just quickly check the version, help about MT exec. I'm operating version 4.06. Okay, so version 4.06, uh, I've got the driver installed. We don't need the logger for now. Let's talk about that in a minute. What we need is the comms lead. You can see it's a USB comms lead. Uh, I've got various USB ports on this laptop. There's some this side, there's some this side. It doesn't matter which one you use. We can hear that the uh, computer has recognized this particular comms lead as a Metro count comms lead. Bottom line is, if in doubt, you don't know where your comms lead is, you can go view, settings, communication, and provided you've installed the driver, it should come up on the serial ports on this machine. You just choose it and away we go. Now, to verify it works, we require a logger. Now, this particular logger uh, is a Metro Count 5600, a classifier for tube-based surveys using two tubes. Uh, we've got the A sensor and the B sensor marked here, but in the middle is the heart LED, also covered in other videos. What we need to ensure before we plug this in is that this logger is actually working. There's no point talking to it, attempting to talk to it if it's not working. So we just wait uh, for the heart lid to flash. This particular one, the heart lid, is flashing every eight seconds, meaning the logger's asleep, but it's still alive. So we should be able to talk to this very successfully. Just line up with the keyway. Uh, as explained in other videos, you don't need to screw it in. The, the pins are long enough. You just insert the cable, leave it like that. So uh, we just simply choose RSU status here and it should communicate. And in fact, it does. We get the RSU status dialog box with the data tab, RSU tab, battery tab, triggers and memory. Um, you can check the RSU status, not active in this case, the, log the logger is asleep. The heart lead is now on solid because it's communicating, but this logger is not active. It was flashing once every eight seconds, meaning it was asleep in low power mode. If you've installed the software but still can't communicate with your logger, you need to maybe check with your IT department as they may have set user privileges on your computer which prevents you from accessing serial ports and USB ports. A throwback to old modem days. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope that's been informative. Check the link below for installing the software and drivers.